Good morning. This is Andrew Sheets with the Third Heaven Traveler blog. This blog, The Third Heaven Traveler, is about the life of Jesus Christ and our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and Him and us who believe on Him and applying this existence to our physical world. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4, through 4, King James Bible. Dear Lord, I give this blog and this video to you for your glory. I pray eyes can be open. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Until that day, sustain us by your grace. Amen. Maranatha. Israel recognizes that their turmoil ultimately points to the Messiah. Wake up call come soon. I repeat, Israel recognizes that this terrible turmoil they're in today, the civil unrest on the verge of civil war, their complete breakdown of their government and the people from right fringe and left fringe, it ultimately repoints to the Messiah. Yes, the real wake-up call is coming soon, people. We're coming home soon, saints. In Romans chapter 11, verse 9, it is written, And David saith, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. This is out of the literary interlude that Paul sets aside from Romans 9 through 11. Not popular with 90% of feeble-minded, non-Bible-reading, low-informed evangelicals who think that the gospel is part of Romans 10, and they're constantly repeating Romans 10, 9, and 10 about, Thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, for to be saved. It's part of the remnant of, of Jews who will come out of the tribulation, which will only be a third. Read my studies, wake up, people. But, but in this, Paul is addressing who? Israel. Who is Israel? The remnant. And he's talking about they stumbled and why that the Lord hasn't forgotten them that they'll be coming out of this. This is all we're seeing this now. And Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 23, But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block. I repeat, unto the Jews a stumbling block. And that's what's happening now. And unto the Greeks, foolishness. Now, the Greeks represent the non-Jewish Gentile nations of the academia of the world, most of the world, the mighty and noble, they have nothing to do with the silly, silly, silly stuff of the Bible. But we're focused right now on Israel. This is a very telltale sign of the sign we see it. Now, this civil unrest going on right now, I was almost dropped my coffee this morning reading an article from Israel Today News this must be shared. I pray the saints can see this as a major sign that Israel knows. I repeat, Israel knows the heart of their real problem stems from religion, specifically the stumbling stone, Jesus Christ. This is why this reprobate charlatan Wolf, Amir Tesfati, was telling his young group of Christian evangelical tour uh, members of his overpriced tour group, pleading with them, not once, but twice, and I think even the third time, hey, you guys, don't call yourself Christians. Why was he in damage control? Why was he telling these young, impressionable minds not to say Christian? Why? Because he knows that he has a huge PR problem. He knows he's just using Christians as useful idiots, as garden tools for his Zionist project. He's a front man for the Zionist regime. People can't see that. And why? 
Why do we see Emir coming out with this? Put the dots together, people. Why, when the government and the Knesset, Jewish Knesset, why were they writing the conservative Jews were saying, hey, we don't we want to write legislation making it illegal with a fine and even imprisonment to even say the name Jesus or talk about the Messiah is Jesus to in, in any literature. And 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 Joel Rosenberg, who is like Amir Tesfati, he is a front man, a Zionist shill, using evangelicals as useful idiots for Netanyahu and the Zionist regime. People wake up. He went into damage control mode. He freaked. He was pumping out like a madman. Hey, no, whoa, 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 whoa. No, guys, don't worry. Don't worry. No, no, no. You're all good. Christians, come here. Group hug. Israel loves you. They accept you. No, they don't, you morons. They accept your political backing with Washington to use Washington as boots on the ground for their Zionist agenda. Not going into that in depth, you can read all my links with the Emeritus Fadi links. But people, there's a problem in Israel right now. It's about Jesus Christ. It's the Messiah. Uh, read my links below exposing Emeritus Fadi and Joel Rosenberg in the links. It's in the description box. Read the blog. Now, the read this article from this Ryan Jones of Israel today. He says... He writes in his article that a look at the biblical rift is at the heart of the internal divisions that pose the biggest threat to Netanyahu's government. I repeat, a look at the biblical rift is at the heart of the internal divisions. And he says this poses the biggest risk. And he says messianic-minded Jews like this Ben Gavir find little love among Israel's rabbinic establishment. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article to you, but basically we've got the ultra-Orthodox standing on one side on mainstream Judaism saying, hey, the messianic kingdom is not going to come in until God brings it. They're right on. Because they, why? They're reading scripture. But these religious Zionists, like these low-informed, feeble-minded evangelicals like Joe Rosenberg and the Samaritans fighting this, they're saying that the religious Zionists, often referred to in media as messianic, are what? Going to what? Help usher in. Help usher in the messianic kingdom. And this is that kingdom building. This is the Zionism. This is kingdom dominion theology and Christian nationalism. Um, now, the another thing I want to say is they they think that the messianic messianic uh, minded fools think that we're living in the end times and trying to enact the government policy based on that belief. Now, if you really get to this article you see that it's all circles. Now, I'm going to say this again. This is really focusing on the messianic, and messianic means Messiah. Messiah is Jesus Christ. Now, we know that Israel believes their Messiah. They don't believe that's Jesus Christ, but they're going to find out. And when they find out, two-thirds of them are going to get wiped out. I repeat, when they find out during the tribulation, when they think they've got this false covenant of peace in the middle of the tribulation, when the Antichrist says, surprise, and defiles the temple, this is when they're, Jesus said, don't even go down and get your coats, but run to the hills. We are living in the very final moments, people. Israel knows that their trouble is, is religion. They know that the heart of that religion is based on the Messiah. And they're looking at the end events and what the Davidic messianic kingdom is all about. People get excited. Look up. Our redemption draws near. Amen. Hallelujah. Maranatha.